This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. We're continuing in that study in John chapter 9, and I hope you'll take the study uh, from last Sunday. If you weren't here, uh, get a copy of the CD and, uh, and uh, listen to it and study it, because it kind of lays a foundation for what we're continuing with today. But in order to grasp what transpires in these verses, in, in, uh, starting with verse 35, we're going to take a look at, uh, at what, what happened when Jesus finally confronted the blind man. But what led up to that is really important. Remember when Jesus and the disciples came upon this blind man who was sitting on the side of the road probably, and he was on the street begging because that was really the only thing he could do. What else could he do? And the disciples asked a question of Jesus that was based on common belief of that day. They said in John chapter 9, verse 2, and the disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Now, that was a common thought in that day. A lot of people still think that today. They, they think that if you suffer, it's because of your sin or because you're under some sort of curse. I, I can't tell you how many people still today that I talk to say, well, I, I feel like I'm under a curse. You know, that, that God's punishing me for something, that something happened in my life and I'm being punished for something. The idea that you're suffering as a punishment for something that you did or that your parents did, you know, that, that your suffering's as a result of, of a curse that was put on them at some point. And uh, that was a common belief of that day. And if you were suffering, you were considered damaged goods. And God says, no, that's, it's, that's not the issue at all. God, first of all, we need to get that completely out of our thinking because the punishment that God provides was already done on the cross. You know, the punishment for your sin was already taken care of on the cross. Now, there may be some discipline in your life, but discipline is very different from punishment. Punishment is retribution for doing something wrong. Discipline is God getting you to do the right thing. And so there may be some difficulty involved in, in that disciplinary process, but sometimes we're very compliant and we change rather quickly and immediately, you know, and, and so it, we don't have to go through all of that. But discipline is very, very different. It's not punishment. It's God doing something and working something in our life to get us to the point where we're doing what he wants us to do. Punishment is retribution for doing something wrong. And so this idea was that if you're suffering that you must be you must be being punished was completely contrary to what Jesus came for and what he was doing here on earth. And so they said, well, who sinned, this man or, or his parents, and is he under a curse, or what's the deal? And Jesus' response was very curious. In verse 3, he said, it was not that this man sinned or his parents, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. God said there's, it's, it's not that God intended for this man to be blind, but God will use the circumstances in his life to accomplish his glory, to accomplish his purpose and his plan. That's true in your own life. The difficulties that you go through in your life are things that God can use to accomplish and reveal his glory. It's not that he wanted you to go through those things, but he can accomplish his purpose and his plan through those things. Then Jesus said something rather cryptic, that the disciples would not have understood at that point. Later on, they, when they looked back, they went, oh. But in, in verse 5, he said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. As long as I'm here, I am the light of the world. Now, who's the light of the world now? Us. Later on, we're told, you're the light of the world. And we're, our responsibility now as God's people is to go into the world and be light in the world. But Jesus said, while I'm here, I'm the light of the world. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.